Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to M Cubed. Of course, I am Schmook and we are here to, to do a ticket or skip it on Indiana Jones and the Dial of Destiny. Let's get right into it. So ultimately, so of course this is a non-spoiler review. I know the movie's been out for like a week, but we want to just make it if this film is worth seeing. Ultimately, is it a fulfilling movie going experience? It depends on what you're looking for, right? Like, I don't think it's the best movie where I think the original trilogy has are some of the best action adventure movies of all time. This isn't that, but I had pretty low expectations going into this movie. Frankly, when it comes to Lucasfilm under Disney, I have not been very impressed with what they have been doing from like a Disney Plus side to a big movie market side, right? Because of course you have the equal trilogy of Star Wars, which I'm not the biggest fan of outside of The Force Awakens. Then you have the Willow series, which I know is a big flop, like no one watched it, I haven't watched it, so I can't really comment too, too much on that matter. But overall, the only like p positive things I've seen from Disney Lucasfilm has been first two seasons of Mandalorian and uh, I like Andor, right? So again, I've been hesitant on my excitement for this because Indiana Jones is one of my favorite movie characters of all time. Two of the movies are some of my favorite movies of all time with Raiders and The Last Crusade, right? So ultimately, was this a fulfilling experience? I'll say yes. I would say yes because ultimately, again, my excitement level wasn't high because I thought they were kind of just going to make uh, the, the Phoebe Waller Bridge, I believe that that that's the actress's name like be like this person to take over the mantle for indy and just indy's pushed to the side where it's not even a movie about him and i still think it was a very fulfilling movie for indy alone where it's like it continues his journey um we see him way into the future where he's passed way past his prime but yet he's still able to have a last ride like to have one last grand adventure but all he truly cares about is just taking care of the people he loves and meets along the way as well as just powerful objects not fall into the wrong hands. And that's what happens in this movie um, with the Dial of Destiny, right? Like he would rather it just be in a museum, but he likes the idea that he is someone who is able to find these long lost artifacts, right? That's cool, because like he's the archaeologist, right? And yeah, like any doctor or professor dreams to be like Indiana Jones. But again, with me not having high expectations for the movie, I thought it turned out to be amazing. But I think it's a fun movie to go like that I would recommend to go see in a theater, right? In terms of like acting, I think this is one of Harrison Ford's best performances. Like low key, like under the radar, it's like like I got very emotional watching him as Indy, like within the last act. Like there's a few scenes where I'm just like, whoa, Harrison, you are going in right now. Simply like one of the last scenes in the movie, I'm like, this is heartbreaking and beautiful at the same time. But yeah, I think ultimately he was great and I liked Maz Mikkelsen. I thought it was a very good villain, honestly. The rest of the characters, I was like, eh, on. If I'm being honest, I'm going to see this movie for Indiana Jones, right? I got like not Phoebe Waller Bridges character, but I didn't think it was bad. I thought she was actually pretty decent in this movie and she wasn't like constantly shitting on Indiana Jones which I thought it was going to be. Uh, so I'm very happy with that. Um, I also think, I uh, can't remember the actor's name, but he, you know, he's in uh, Captain America, the first Avenger and whatnot, but he's in this. Uh, I thought he did a good job. He's not in it that much. Same with uh, uh, Sala's character and Marion. Like they're not in it that much. It's mostly an indie journey with his God. And then of course the main villain, Maz Mikkelsen. But I think those three actors did, they were the main focus of this whole film. And I thought they did good. I mean, there is the side character. I can't remember his name. And I don't know the actor's name. Maybe he's like the little kid that like joins them on this journey. I thought he was fine. I just wasn't a huge fan of him. I was a little annoyed at times. I think they were trying to go with a, a bit of a short round thing, which is fine. But I just don't think you can really capture that again. But I thought he was a fine character. I, like I didn't hate him. I just didn't think he was great. Overall, is this a movie I would recommend? I'd say yeah. I would say yeah. Like if it, if you have no, if you've seen any everything else in theaters right now, or like everything that you've been like looking forward to, and you want to go to the theater, I say I'd say go go. See see indie because it's, it's a it's a fine movie it's a good movie so ultimately it's a ticket for me hope you guys who have seen it is it's a ticket for you so make sure to leave your comments down below tell me what you thought about indiana jones or if you have been hesitant on seeing indiana jones in the dial of destiny and if possibly my opinions have shit like shifted the way you think all right guys make sure to like and subscribe and i will catch y'all very soon bye bye